So stage two for the baton jumping. I've got Merlin because Taylor said he was busy. Um, so we've got Merlin for this stage. Now what we need to be doing is using a baton shaped toy. So it could be something like this. It could be one of the long con toys, something like that. Tuggy toy that's quite long. Something in that sort of shape. And we're actually then holding the pole ourselves rather than it being a standalone jump like we did before. Okay. What I would suggest that you do first of all is hide your toy <laughs> and just get your dog used to hold, jumping over the jump while you're holding it because when we hold it there is room for it to be moving about a little bit more or to be at a funny angle and it can put some dogs off so you want to get their confidence up first so Merlin can you go back a tiny bit buddy and Merlin over yes and again over yes what a good boy what a clever fella yes he is if your dog's not sure at this stage you could ask someone else to hold on to that pole while you help glue your dog over just to build their confidence up a little bit okay Merlin back over here good boy once they're happy going over the jump, make sure they're happy using whatever item you're using. So if it's something brand new to be baton shaped, practice first. Do some play with them first, okay? So what we're doing, ready? <laughs> Merlin, over. Hold it, Merlin. And over. Yes. What a clever boy. Very good. Is he a very clever fella? Yes, he is. Very nice. Ready? Over there. Ready, ready. Merlin, over. And over. Yes, good boy, what a good boy.